what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the values of a and b such that the square root of a plus the square root of b is equal to the square root of 45. well our first step will be for us to decompose 45 into two factors such that one of the factors is a perfect square. So we have the square root of A plus the square root of B equal to the square root of... Now decomposing 45, this becomes 5 times 9. 9 is actually a perfect square. Our next step will be for us to also decompose A and B such that one of the factors will also be a perfect square. For example, A is equal to, just like the right hand side, 5 times some perfect square. And B is equal to, just like the right hand side, 5 times some perfect square, where x and y are integers. Our next step will be for us to substitute 5x squared in place of a and substitute 5y squared in place of b. So this becomes the square root of a which is 5x squared plus the square root of b which is 5y squared and this is equal to the square root of 5 times 9. Well this expression is same as the square root of 5 times the square root of x squared plus this expression is same as the square root of 5 times the square root of y squared equal to this expression is same as the square root of 5 times the square root of 9. So now notice that this square root can cancel off the square leaving behind x and this square root can cancel off the square leaving behind y and the square root of 9 is actually 3. So this becomes x times the square root of 5 gives x root 5 plus y times the square root of 5 gives y root 5 equal to now 3 times the square root of 5 gives 3 root 5. Our next step will be for us to factor out the square root of 5 from the left hand side. So factor out the square root of 5. So we have x root 5 divided by root 5. I'm going to be having x plus y root 5 divided by root 5. I'm going to be having y to be equal to 3 root 5. Now notice that root 5 can actually cancel off leaving behind x plus y to be equal to 3. And since x and y are integers, it means the value for x and y can be when x is 1, y can only be 2. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Now notice that this expression is symmetric. That means if I swap the position of x and y, I'm still going to be having the same result. So it means that the value for x and y can also be when x is 2, y can be 1. So that they add up to 3. Now we've got two 
possible values for x and y. Now our aim is to look for a and b. And to get a, I'm going to be starting with when x and y are x is 1 and y is 2. So let's get a. So a will be equal to 5 times x squared. Here x is 1, so that's 1 squared. And this is going to be 1 squared is 1 times 5 is 5. Then the value of b will be 5 times y squared. That's 5 times y. y is 2. So this is 2 squared, which is going to be 2 squared is 4 times 5. That's 20. So the value of a and b are when a is 5, b is 20. And since from our original expression, this is actually symmetric, which means if I swap the positions of the square root of A and the square root of B, I'm still going to be having the same result. So that means B can also be 5 and A 20. So A can be 20 and B 5. So this is our final result. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.